Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. Um, all right, people. So here it is. A uh, this is going to be about Capricorn, uh, well, Jupiter in Capricorn that transited a few days ago, and uh, thanks to Pisces Moonbeam, uh, because I'm not an astrologer, as you already know, um, I pretty much she told me a little bit about what this is going on. So pretty much what I took from her is that uh, just one second to. Uh, Turn off my TV. All right. So, what I took from her is that uh, throughout this one-year period of time, uh, it looks like that uh, you have to follow kind of like a rules which are gonna lead you toward a certain ambitions and achievements of yours. Um, hello, Lisa. Hello. How are you doing? So, uh, that being said, it will be quite even an important one year. And Jupiter is always, when Jupiter comes around, it is an important year. Because in Tarot, Jupiter, it's uh, represented by the Wheel of Fortune, this card. And by the way, this is the, the deck and that, that I am going to use um, here in this forecast. Hello, everybody that is tuning in. So, uh, Wheel of Fortune. Well, Wheel of Fortune, obviously, it is a about fortune, but you can't expect to get quite busy in the next year when this card transits, um, transits us, and especially in Capricorn, because the Capricorn is the devil card. So in Tarot, we do have a D this combination, which is a actually passive neutral kind of a combination, which is a, an enormous thing. Uh, it's because we, in general, all of us, are going to get uh, very busy. And there are more than one ways of how we can accomplish things throughout this, say, one year. Mainly for a Capricorn as well. I mean, in the Capricorn, this is going to be, for Capricorns, this is going to be uh, more amplified than for the others. But that being said, we have a choice to make here in the next year or choices to make of how we're going to get things done. One way how we can do it is by leaning toward our personal influence or rather like a, let's say, draw from our personal power, force the circumstances we require and get the things done. Or the other way, it's for the strongest. The other way is where people control the chaos around, okay? So the, the weak people, they do go for order, while the strongest, they do prefer to rule the chaos. And out of all these busyness that we are to experience throughout this one year, uh, there are to be many things coming around and we get the opportunity to take on what we want or to take on what is given to us. Oh, well, I will try to explain it that way. Imagine that this is a hurricane, okay? A hurricane of opportunities. And we are finding ourselves in the eye of the storm where everything is calm, nice and cozy. And we get to extend our arms and choose what kind of options we want to go for, okay? But that is only for the strongest. Uh, the others... They have to exert, they have to prove that they are strong. They have to exert their 
personal influence and get their things done. All right, so that was uh, the summarizing of the Jupiter in, uh, in Capricorn. And now I'm going to shuffle the cards um, and we start and we are going to start doing the star signs, three cards per star sign, the usual spread, elemental dignities. And um, in after every four star signs, I'm going to have a little bit of a break. We get to socialize, we get to chat, if you will, for a five or ten minutes. And then we move to the next four star signs. All right. Lovely. So, uh, oh, you're welcome, Lisa. Hello to everybody who is that are tuning in. I uh, hope you enjoyed the stream. And now let me shuffle here. Alright, so this is uh, once again a one year prediction, but that is going to be only about the things that affect Jupiter in Capricorn. Okay, you cannot take it that this is going to be the entire year for you. Uh, so you can take it as a uh, energies that you can rely on uh, throughout this year that is to come and you can capitalize on those uh, energies. So the first card for a Aries or the main card is going to be the devil, then one side is catalyzed by the uh, Ace of Wands. And from the other side here, it is catalyzed by the Death card. So we do have these three cards here for you guys. And it looks like that, that is going to be hell of an year for you. That is for reason being is that you are to uh, stabilize and um, situate yourself, let's say, a little bit more, well, quite a lot of in a stronger position right now, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. The thing here is that you get to choose what kind of things you want to keep on to keep up with you or what kind of things you want to banish i would say it that way banish a from your life certain people you know kind of behaviors projects jobs um, relationships you name it so you get to dictate the rules of your life for the next year and uh, you have to be careful with that kind of an energies because as you are on the top of the world, because this is what those cards are pointing here, um, you get you can get yourself intoxicated by that power and you can do really stupid things that you will have to bear the consequences after that year passes. So be mindful of uh, what kind of endeavors and what kind of in general, what kind of, you know, activities you are going to oppress your influence upon because your influence is going to provoke a faithful circumstances that will allow you to get what you are after. So hopefully you know what you are after. All right. So that was about Aries. Now let's go to uh, Taurus. Hello, Jessica. Hello, Karen. And Doris, let's not forget Doris. Hello, Doris. All right, so Taurus, the first card for you guys is going to be the Seven of Wands. Uh, it's catalyzed from one side with the Four of Cups. And from the other here, that is going to be the Queen of Wands. So we do have a build-up for you. A build-up in a sense of that uh, the more you go through this year where the Jupiter is in Capricorn, the more you are going to start feeling that you are wasting time or you are wasting yourself in general. It is that you want to go for a greater things, for better things in life. For reason being either because you do have a, a bigger influence or impression, you are making a bigger impression into the people that you are socializing or it is because you are uh, either all of a sudden or slowly progressingly you are realizing that you are more capable than what you are situating yourself up until this moment and therefore it looks like that throughout this year for you Taurus there will be a moment where you can truly grasp certain a breakthrough points 
through which you know you can bump up with uh, the person you so much require that fits your criteria, uh, with the job that you so much require that is going to fulfill your um, career, how can I say it, a um, career expectations, let's say that way. But the point is that you can take on this uh, period of time for you, Taurus, as a snowballing period of time where you start small and you end up really really big on really really high place and that is however guys only if you kind of be able to stand your ground in a sense of that you do know what you want and you do not deviate from this from this path and as well you do have the courage and determination the readiness in uh, in general to act when the moment is right because you're gonna have only one chance per endeavor per enterprise to uh, conquer it and once you miss that chance it's not going to be given to you anymore you're going to have many chances but for many endeavors not for one many chances okay all right um so uh, the next one here uh, is going to be gemini um Sunday, no, I'm on Gemini. We started at uh, 7 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard, East Coast. Yeah, Eastern Standard Time. So, Gemini, the first card for you is going to be the Tree of Pentacles, followed by the next one or catalyzed from the uh, one side is going to be the Nine of Cups and from the other here is going to be the Two of Swords. So it looks like that you are going to take a side here uh, in this uh, year in advance, uh, taking a side in a sense of that, I don't know how to say it, let's say that Mm, you're gonna stop being inactive in a particular uh, in a particular narrative in your life, and um, whatever narrative or kind of like whatever goal you are chasing throughout this one year, you're going to have quite a lot of support through your development. People will guide you. People will have those kind of like a uh, fruitful discussions with you, very uh, as well fruitful uh, cooperations is what you're going to have throughout this year. And uh, through those uh, um, cooperation discussions and support, things are simply going to happen. Okay, it's just because the Tree of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups, when they are together, they form a passive supporters and they do describe it. It's like the fortune is laying its grace with full fistfuls on the top of your head. But that is only if you listen. And um, you have to listen, however, to some sort of a criticism here throughout this uh, year. And that criticism is truly spoken. Why, what I mean it is that when someone tells you that you're doing something wrong, well, you are doing it wrong. And it will be best if you don't take on this criticism as an insult, but instead of uh, try to take it as a constructive type of criticism. The point here for, uh, for you, this period of time is going to be where the equilibrium is going to be broken equilibrium where things are put into halt and there is no opportunity for advance anymore okay so you can uh you can expect gemini that things are going to start happening which uh for you but not by yourself no one does it by itself okay it's just this things are happening for you through a cooperation with other people. So you want to make a business? Well, you have, you need a business partner. Um, you want to have a good social circle? Well, we need to know the majority of the people there and etc. etc. You want to an important project? You need to have a partner in that project as well. So everything happens for you through a cooperation and not by trying to conquer it on your own. So the other the other sign here is going to be Cancer.
All right, the prime card for Cancer is the four card catalyzed from one side by the Prince of, uh, it's the Prince, yeah, by the Prince of Cups, and from the other side uh, by the Two of Cup, uh, by the Two of Swords. So that is a, a very, um, I don't know how to say it in English, well found, maybe I would say. A, it's not even a, a new beginning, it's more like a new goal that you cancer are going to set in front of yourself. But that's the thing now, before you set that goal in front of yourself, you are going to make a, a very vast research. Therefore, you can maybe expect that uh, in the first half, maybe of the next year is where you're going to take the things very easily here. Um, researching, reconnoitering around, okay, advising yourself as well with, uh, with people whom, who does have a uh, opinion or rather like an, an experience into the endeavor that you want to start initiating. And uh, that is for a reason being is that because you are going to become aware or you're going to have that insight that you're not very familiar with uh, with the whole procedure or if you will with the whole uh, thematic of the of the endeavor that lies ahead uh, but uh, that is not going to stop you you can expect that in the how in the second portion of this year the second half portion of this year to learn great deal of things and as well to how can i say it um well, yeah, I, w I would say to experience a kind of like a creative chaos, if you will, where many things you're going to find out that you can do with ease and as well that you can lift a lot a, uh, your expectations for the future uh, in general. But definitely here we do have a new beginning that you are not going to regret nor for a second. For a reason being, once again, it is that you... Maybe you don't know what you what you're gonna do or what you are doing, but you very well will know what you do want. And by well-made uh, preparations, it looks like that the victory is within your hands. I mean, it's uh, pretty much gifted to you. It's promised to you, I would say. Okay, so that was um, for cancer, and now we are gonna have a, a five minutes of break. I'm gonna cut this break. Uh, for the youtube video so those who are watching on youtube are not going to see that break and uh, so moving into the next four star signs which are going to be leo virgo libra and scorpio let me shuffle and we're going to take a look at leo now All right, so the first card for you, Leo, is going to be the Prince of Cups, catalyzed by one side of the Four of Cups, and on the other is by the Prince of Wands. That's very interesting. So this is what it happens here, it is that you're going to place uh, in front of yourself a very big devotion, something that you're going to find as a... Uh, the most substantial thing really uh, in your life it could be your family it could be a particular person job you name it anyway so uh what is the interesting the interesting thing here in these uh, three cards it is that it is not like you're not going to have any options any other options available okay so just to give you an example you focus on this uh, on your current relationship right now while you do have other suitors that you can rely on but they will not simply matter for you because you you're gonna devote yourself into giving everything you have in order to make that thing work and at the end of the day the thing is gonna work just as much as you gave into it all right because with the king of one uh, with the uh prince of wands uh, uh prince of cups excuse me as a prime card the results are going to completely justify the effort so the more efforts you put in the more results you draw from it okay and the four of cups only here speaks about the uh, longevity of the thing that it could be situated in a such a way that even can be classified as a, a boring thing moving forward into the future so you can make your family let's say a 
in a rock solid routine where everything is going to be completely predictable and emotional um, it's not even satisfaction but let's say stillness or a uh, stability is going to be in presence there but <clears throat> excuse me but it is important at the start of the year or like tomorrow to uh identify for yourself what are the dreams of your heart what is, what is that thing that you really think is going to make you uh, emotionally fulfilled and start throwing efforts into it so that was about leo now let's uh take a look at virgo Alright, so the first card for Virgo is going to be the Fool card, uh, catalyzed from one side from the Devil card and from the other is going to be uh, the Lover's card, so that's pretty big for you Virgo. And uh, it looks like that this uh, cycle of Jupiter is going to make you take on a direction that you don't want to. Okay, that doesn't mean that the direction is bad, it is just you didn't want it to, or rather like it's not like you didn't want it to, but it is more like you want something different than what it is given to you. And here it is where you will have to make a very, very important decision. Should you go against what you want or should you go against what you have to? In either way, I would say in either way you will have some sort of a repercussions to deal with, but the thing is that there is no right or wrong decision here. Now, what these cards are telling or what these cards are advising for you, Virgo, is to go for what you have to, not for what you want to, okay? Because uh, with the devil and the fool, it does look like that what you want is going to lead you in a dead-end situation for one or another reason, or it's going to be like a bitter victory at the end. So it is better to just go with what the uh, universe, or if you want to say God, you know, or um, the world is giving to you, is giving to you as a... Um, as an opportunity, instead of being stubborn, you know, and trying to push certain things through which does not want to happen at that particular uh, at that particular stage in either way uh should you go for what the universe is giving to you that you can expect that a lot of problems you are currently facing they will simply going to resolve themselves on their own accord you can as well expect a lot of flirting all right a lot of a uh, interactions in general with people very harmonious interactions as a matter of fact and um, as well a very very happy times as just you have to detach yourself from um, this insatiable hunger you do have right now toward a, a specific thing all right so um next one is going to be libra Tammy, I'm sorry about your child, but a uh, couple of things, Taro is not designed to read for health. That's the first thing, we're not doctors here. And the second thing is that in this stream, we don't, or I don't do a free readings in this stream. I do, but they are for the star signs. All right, so Libra now. 
We do have the Tree of Swords as a prime card. Uh, then from the other side, Catalyzed from one side is going to be Ten of Wands and from the other is going to be the World. There are two ways how this thing can go. Uh, the one, one way of how this thing can go forward is uh, that you Libra are going to start regretting things from the past that you left and finished, right? It's, you could have finished it, but you left and finished for one or another reason. And right now it is kind of like um, in the next year you will try to compensate with different, uh, with different stuff, right? It's kind of like keeping, your, keeping yourself busy and keeping yourself occupy that is the negative way of how this uh, these energies can manifest in, uh, can manifest themselves the other way of how these energies can manifest themselves is, is that you are going to understand that you can complete something you have left and finished and throughout the next year you are going to do whatever you can in order to make it work in either way uh, how can I say it? You can expect that at the end of this year, where Jupiter, uh, when Jupiter is going to move into Aquarius, uh, that you're going to feel big relief. Okay, that one, one or the other way. Um, what I mean is that at the end of the year, you either are going to completely substitute the thing you couldn't finish, or at the end of the year, you will completely finish what you couldn't finish. But either way, you are going to experience a big relief and. Uh, kind of like a uh, lifting off a, a burden that you are carrying on your shoulders. But you can ex expect that this one year moving forward is going to be very busy for you. You will have to kind of oblige certain rules of life, of your job, of your marriage, of your uh, relationship, if you want to fix relationship as well. So in other words, if you want to fix an old relationship, whatever your partner says, your ex says to you in order to get to you again in a relationship goes you want to improve into your career whatever your boss says goes you want to stabilize your marriage whatever your husband says or wife says goes okay so you have to be the follower if you want the things to uh kind of like face um improvement in this uh in this field where you have left something unfinished okay so uh next one is going to be scorpio Of course, if you don't want to follow anybody else's rules, that's fine. It is just at the end of the day, you know, uh, you will still going to have that nagging feeling that, you know, you could have, you could have had more. But again, it is entirely up, uh, it is entirely up to you. All right, so next one, Scorpio. Okay, so Scorpio, the first card is going to be the King of Pentacles, Knights of Pentacles in this deck. Uh, from one side is going to be catalyzed by the Ace of Swords and from the other by the Princess of Wands. So, um, well, that's not a very good thing for us. It does speak uh, for us, Scorpio, that we may... Mm, kind of like dive our, uh, dive ourselves into a very, let's say, unsubstantial things or trying to uh, consolidate on a unsubstantial things into our life while we are missing on an opportunity for growth, right? That this is what those uh, cards are pointing. So in order for us to avoid... Uh, these heavy energies of standstill and of stillness in general, uh, we have to show or, or kind of like we need to grow spiritually or in other words, you need to lean to our, to the strength of our spirit and as well to our mental clarity. Okay. 
Uh, why this is happening most likely it is because we don't want to acknowledge uh, the reality we don't want to acknowledge the truth we don't want to put the efforts behind that is why it's that's the simple truth here and um, it will be best if we are open for everything new that comes around so in other words Scorpio within the next year uh, our growth and our opportunities resides outside of our comfort zone all right, and we need to do some um, pushes or rather like, yeah, we have to exert some efforts in order to throw ourselves uh, outside of um, our comfort zone if we want to uh, dapple our environment with more varieties of endeavors and enterprises. All right, and uh, we are now to uh, Sagittarius. Yeah, they are making themselves unhappy as well by making dramas. Alright, Saji, uh, the first card for you guys is going to be the uh, Five of Wands, catalyzed from one side with uh, the Eight of Swords and from the other is going to be uh, the Prince of Wands here, that we do have those three cards, and that will be quite sort of a, um, uh, how do you say it, it's not busy, it's more like a uh, dynamic quite sort of a, a dynamic one year for you. Many things are going to start happening there. You can expect a lot, a lot of surprises. The thing is that uh, there will be also a lot of uh, turnarounds uh, into your situations and especially into those situations which things are deteriorating, you know, relationship or career, it doesn't really matter. Now, uh, perfect energies here what we do have is to uh save the day or kind of like i like to call these energies saving the day kind of energies you know but in order for those energies to manifest uh, and uh for you to be able to um go through crisis successfully going through crisis you need to show determination that you are ready to do whatever it takes in order to do so that comes from the combo five of ones and the knights of uh, and the knights of ones here you need to show yourself enterprising person someone who can adapt someone who is not afraid okay from the situation itself and it is not afraid to cooperate it is not afraid to act as well all right and that way um it, it seems that you can save your marriage you can save your job you can save your relationship as well you can save everything that is going on around you now another thing with those uh, cards however it is that um you may kind of find yourself more often than not uh, not in the same page with others okay and that comes from the combo five of wands and the eight of swords which points to a, a disruption in the communications in that particular case meaning that let's say you're talking about with uh, with a with a friend okay about a uh, mutual enterprise you want to chase and while you both are agree at the start maybe that friend haven't understood you well and they had a different um, expectation than what can happen from this uh, enterprise now those obstacles or kind of like those blockages of communication can and should be overcome by you being a little bit more elaborative when you try to explain yourself all right so next one uh is gonna be capricorn
All right, so the first card here for Capricorn is going to be two of cups catalyzed from one side from the tree of wounds and from the other by the emperor. Oh, that's, that's quite interesting. <laughs> so you could, you could classify that uh, on a most a um, how do you say it material level or a most practical level as in an impossible love all right uh, but uh, as we are talking about energies here uh, those cards are pointing to a um, how do I say it lack of synergy a lack of synergy with cooperation with a certain individual or with certain kind of people it is because um, what you're going to crave for or what you're going to try to establish here, it is quite of a uh, solid environment, if you will. It's like a uh, having a, a certain patterns that you uh, that you want to execute and uh, the other side of the party or the parties, because it could be many people around. Uh, they will kind of be a little bit more chaotic and there will be a havoc. So they may not kind of... Um, fulfill promises for example or they could be a little bit more scattered than you would like them to be but uh, the thing with those cards uh, for you capricorns it is that you can definitely uh face love throughout this uh throughout these uh throughout this year excuse me the thing is that uh it's not going to be your way okay so if you want that love to happen or rather like to unfold you can't have it you can't have it the way you want it all right so it's it looks like that you need to abandon your expectations you have to abandon as well your um, um it's not your routine but let's say your structure you have to abandon your empire if you will okay and you need to throw yourself into the unknown so again it's it's about courage here that we do have but uh, one way or the other throughout this year, Capricorn, it looks like that uh, you can have it both ways, okay? You can either have solid life where you control everything or you can have a life full of love where someone else controls you and you get to decide, you get to choose what you want. All right, so that was about Capricorn. Now we go to um, Aquarius. Alright, so the first card for Aquarius, uh, Aquarius is going to be the Two of Swords, catalyzed from the other side by the Five of Swords, and from the other is going to be the Moon card. Aquarius, uh, contrary to the expectation here, it's, go it's going to be a very quiet year, for you at least. And an year where, how can I say it? Well, where you are going to, you're going to be it's not even patient it's more like how do you say it when you have no worries okay where um you pretty much figured everything around everything out so it's 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 a state of peace it's it's like you are gonna have uh the the job the, the the career the way you want it or the way that suits you not the way you want it the way 
that suits you. You're going to have the relationship life the way it suits you. So you're going to equalize everywhere, all right? In your career, in your relationship, if you will. And you are going to be exactly on the line of your capabilities, okay? So that being said, it is uh, unlikely that you're going to make anything wrong throughout this year. And probably this is your luck from Jupiter, all right? That you are going to be lucky not to make any mistake. And uh, on top of that, it's highly unlikely as well that you are going to feel yourself uh, threatened and that you are going to feel yourself uh, unstable as well. So your marriage is going to have stability. Your career is going to have stability, friendships as well. And it doesn't look like that you are going to feel yourself rushed and oppressed as well to make some important decisions as well. And before you decide what to do in anything that is going on around you, you are going to consider uh, every point of view, and at the end of the day, you're going to make the most well-founded decision how to proceed forward with marriage-wise, career-wise, and etc., etc. And that's why I said that the, that the year is going to be very peaceful for you, because there won't be matters that are going to um, undermine the foundations that you have built up until, uh, up until this moment. And uh, that was for Aquarius, and now we go to um, Pisces, the last one. All right, so Pisces, Prince of Cups, it is the first card here, catalyzed from one side with the Prince of Swords. And from the other here is going to be the Ace of Wands. So for you, this week is going to be, uh, this uh, year, excuse me, is going to be a, a, an year of reaping, okay? It's like you have prepared things or you have developed things up until now. And now this year, it is where you are focusing on to bringing those things to their fruition and reaping the results of them. The thing is that um, if you do focus only on... Uh, on what you have been developing up until this moment, instead of jeopardizing that uh, these um, these things with new enterprises or with new beginnings here, uh, you're going to be quite pleased and emotionally satisfied with uh, the results of your hardship, of your work in general. Um, it's pretty much uh, what I'm trying to say here it is that the stage is set. You have set up your stage and now it's time for you to play the pantomime. Okay, and uh, it's going to be exactly the way you have written the scenario here. Uh, this is how it's going to turn out, only if you don't make the changes in a very last moment. So you pretty much have it all right, okay, or you have figured it out all right, and now it's um, now it's time for you to execute execute uh, your plan, either career wise or either relationship wise. Now, important thing to be said here is not to be tenacious, not to be reckless as well. And uh, uh, that is also important, even if at certain stages um, of your drive moving on forward, you are feeling that you are losing grip either career or relationship wise, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you should not, um, how can I say it? You should not panic yourself, but instead follow your plan. Because um, at that, um, at these moments, it is where, how can I say it? This is where your performance matters, okay? And uh, if you throw enough performance in it or you throw enough efforts in it, you're to stabilize that, uh, this loss of grip. And once again, at the end, you are going to reap the results that you have fought for. So pretty much uh, that was the um, that was uh, the forecast for the Jupiter into Capricorn. 